Hey guys, my name is Leandro Hidalgo. I'm Dave Pensado's assistant. Uh, Dave was working on this song by Italian producers Max and Alessandro, and uh, he was worried about the groove. He wanted the groove to uh, move a little more, and uh, there were a couple loops that had some really interesting um, parts in them that we wanted to kind of pull away from the loop. Overall, Dave liked the level of all the loops, but we wanted the shaker to be a little more predominant. So I came up, th I came up with this idea. Uh, pretty simple. Um, the focus of this one is really just to show different uses for you know plugins. Just because the plugin's supposed to be a de-esser doesn't necessarily mean that you have to use it as a de-esser. I'll show you what I mean. So here's the track, basically the drum loop. So what we did was we went ahead and duplicated this track. Now as you hear that there is a shaker in that track. And uh, we wanted to go ahead and pull that, that shaker out a little more to give it a better groove. So I came up with the idea of using the Oxford suppressor. And with the Oxford suppressor, it has the option to hear, quote unquote, the inside of the range that you set it for. Uh, this is basically the same thing as the sidechain button on any other de -esser. So what this is going to do is only allow us to hear the frequencies inside these two little markers here, which are basically just a shaker. So instead of going back to mix and suppressing these frequencies, I'm just going to keep it on inside. And then this little knob here allows me to attenuate the dynamics a little bit, basically compress it a little. So now I have just a shaker. Perfect. So here's an example of it working the track. Rather than going back to the mix, I'm just going to keep it on inside and I'm going to show you how um, I'm just using it to bring a little more shaker in to the overall mix. So this is without it. And here's with it. And I can just go ahead and mix it in to however I feel sounds the best. And there you go. Using a plugin that was meant to attenuate certain frequencies, but instead of doing that, we're just only hearing those frequencies. Um, another plugin. Most DSers can do this. Here's another example. This is FabFilters Pro DS. Um, same thing, but instead we're going to click the Audition button. The Audition button is only going to allow us to hear what we're supposed to be attenuating. Here's the track with the Audition on. There's only the shaker. And I can do the same thing, adjust the threshold, attenuate the dynamics a little bit, compress it, and mix it back into the track. Now this is a pretty simple idea. Uh, basically the thought process behind this idea is don't allow, don't allow yourself to be boxed in for what a plugin's supposed to do. Use the plugin for you know its maximum capacity. If it allows you to keep it under audition, then keep it under audition. Um, you know, use it to your advantage. There are so many different ways that we can use so many different plugins, but we're so boxed in with the theory that we forget to, you know, just be a little creative with them. I hope that helps, and we'll see you next time.